everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Yes, I know a few of you have seen the photos of this dress. Now, what kind of look would you do with a dress like this? Now, I said I would pull out my Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette, but, you know, I can pull that on another day because I have, a, you know, other palettes that need to be, like, used up before they get abused. So, we will go with the... One that I got, so don't mind me, I don't have my glasses on. One that I got in my, um, <laughs> my Slate Glam box. And, um, so we are going to use that today. And it does have some matching purple tones in there that would go with the dress as well. So it's not that you just have to use one brand. There are several brands out here that indeed we can use. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I just want to show you a look that would go with a dress like this. But I'm going to put a belt on this dress eventually. Just like, because I'm not. And it didn't need a zipper. Come to find out, didn't even need that, that zipper. So, we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so, let me pop this look on because what I'm going to do is use this shade here. The purple, you know, I'm pretty much going to go with some purple tones. And then hit it with a highlight. I'll be right back with that. Okay, well this was the makeup look I was able to pull off to assortedly match with this and what I did was I took my uh, lip balm from Sin City Soaps and Candles put that on my lips and then took a little bit of the purple the darker purple shade from the palette and did this and you know what's kind of funny it's kind of funny because you could just about pull off the same look as something that you would get out of the Bloodlust palette. Similar, not the same. Similar, <laughs> but not the same. Um, so anyway, let me uh, stand up and show you this dress of things. So, uh, hold on. Okay, so anyway, Quite frankly, this is not my favorite garment that I've ever sewn. It has its do's, its don'ts, its good points, its bad points. Um, as you would expect every garment to have. I mean, I only have my regalia shirt from last year pinned up on Manny like that because I needed to have some volume when I was trying to do this. Okay. So I took out the zipper altogether. Um, there still wasn't barely any room for the tot haws, so I had to extend the modesty palette. There is no zipper in this dress at all. Yeah. Made this dress into one of those dresses that you could just slip on. Um, as you can see, my waist genuinely is a lot smaller than my hips uh their sleeving is much desired much to be desired for this particular look so i'll probably put in a darting here and here pull those in uh, quite frankly, this is not my favorite, as I just said. So let me see how much more time here. Oh, I've only been on here for four minutes. Um, this right here, not one of my favorite things. Needs to be worked on um, in order to make it lay better. Um... 
in order to make this stay better, I'm going to have to say all of it needs to be stitched together. And that was totally not in the design. And then I could see better having a belting. They left out the belting, which you could have done a belting, and that would have been better in the design. The pockets are fine. The pockets are fine with this. I don't mind it being long. It covers all my tattoos. <laughs> hey, look, I'm not afraid to show my tattoos. Okay. But this does cover all my tattoos. Would I wear this out? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, maybe after putting a belting on it and taking this up. But, but I think you're all well known that it's all well known that I'm used to wearing a tank top underneath my garments anyway. And thank goodness because, you know, your modesty panel isn't all that modest. <laughs> I can say this. Um, it, okay, still, it's a cute dress. Don't get me wrong. You literally have to have a figure to show anything off. Obviously, I have a figure. And I've taken my hands out of the pocket several times. And these pockets did about the same thing as the pocket in my mock-up. And that's why I did a mock-up. Serious? This pocket is supposed to be more closed. Um, on both sides. And they are not... Why do I feel like Viv? <laughs> When she talks about a McCall's pattern. Um, you know, this is not a, this is not a fabric mark fabric. This is a fabric I got from Sam's Fabrics before they closed for permanent business. Um, before they closed permanently, I'm still so sad. I really loved them. Okay, oh, I still have time. So anyway, I don't know what your thoughts are on this dress. Let me know in the comments. I can sew, it's obvious. I've actually worn on screen a few garments that I've made. You guys probably just didn't really know the difference. So what am I making now? Um, let me think about this. Are we swishing this dress, right? <laughs> like Char in a dress. <laughs> yes, there we go. And I balance that with my bad knee. There we go. I, I can't really curtsy anymore. I have to remember how to do this. That's right. Something like that. I have to remember my curtsy. It's... Yes, madam. <laughs> so, anyway, to me, this is more a 1960s style dress. Trying to be redone. But the way I restyled this, no zipper required. Thank you. Thank you in the house. <laughs> and no, I did not color my hair yet. My hair is just so long and black. I didn't need to do that yet. Um, my natural color. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, leave your thoughts on this dress not my favorite garment at all 
Um, see, like, look, this could be pulled up tautly and like that, ta-da, a cleaner waist. But then this poof right here happens. So, poof, what happened? I don't know, people. I do not know. Anyway, that'll be taken care of. What I might do is just take that part and just like hem down. Now that I don't have to really worry about that. Oh, and another no with this is, you know what? This whole pattern is turned into, I wonder if you worked for Lula No. I'm just saying. Um, these do not, and I have by the way, ironed this did not stay forward. So I think at the bottom I may actually have to hem this so it will stay, not stay on either side. So that's another problem. This is like a Lula no. <laughs> Just so you know. So, okay, guys. I want, oh, it's only like a, almost 12 minutes. Um, so I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and just always say, stay blessed. I almost said dressed. <laughs> Depends on where you live and who you live with. Right? <laughs> uh, like I said, not my favorite. It is kind of. I guess. Maybe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like an odd vegetable in this dress. <laughs> oh, what do I do? I think what I might do next is I've had people ask me to show you guys how to make underpants. I know that's weird. You guys might think that's weird. Actually not weird. Um, I do have some fabric in there to show you. I feel weird in a dress. You now they always say, I say yes to the dress. Say no to this dress. It's a nightmare. <laughs> and quite frankly, you don't need a zipper. No zipper required. <laughs> We're just going to like... <laughs> you know what? I love fabric, Mara. I can't wait to go up there next month. You guys are Wait, this is a bug pattern. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Let's just try to keep this funny. Alright, bye.